Hey everybody, welcome back to Welch's Math Class. Today we're going to get started talking a little bit about geometry. And uh, we will start out in our section 8.1 in particular, talking about some of the basics of geometry. As we talk about geometry, I think the, the, the best place to start essentially is looking at what we would call a line. Okay, we, we draw a line on the board. This is known as a line. I want you to notice the two arrows on the end uh, in this line. Uh, what we note by the two arrows uh, essentially is the idea that um, it's an infinite uh, set of connected points. So we have an infinite set of connected points that we'll call the line. Now, lines uh, can be labeled, and they're typically labeled by points on that line. And so if we put uh, a point on this line, a point on this line, here and here, and we label these points, let's say we label them point A and point B, then at that stage we could call that line AB. So we would, we would label this line, line AB, okay? So can that, uh, a set of connected infinite points, infinite in either direction, okay? So this is, this is our starting point. Um, as far as dealing with geometry, this is how we label a line. Now, beyond a line, we can have some other figures as well. Um, and by the way, a line is a one-dimensional figure. It only has length, okay? It doesn't have width uh, or depth. Uh, we'll be getting into different um, numbers of dimension uh, figures as we, as we go through this. We'll have one-dimensional figures like lines. We'll have two-dimensional figures um, that we'll talk about in three-dimensional figures. Uh, but the line is a one-dimensional figure. Uh, the next piece I want to go to is I want to I take what you might even refer to as half a line. So uh, what we have here is a starting point and then going out in one direction only, infinite in one direction only, okay? So we, we have a, uh, uh, what's called here, array, array. Uh, array has a definite start point, but no end point. Imagine, if you would, a situation with like maybe a flashlight, okay? So a, a ray of light, you turn on that flashlight and you see the light uh, in the darkness shoot out as a ray. You have that starting point of, of the flashlight and then, theoretically at least, the light ray, the, the line uh, of light goes on and on forever. So this is called a ray. We would label a ray very similar to the way we would label a line. We'd have, um, we would have points on the ray. We would label our start point. Uh, we can use A, B here also. But the difference is when we, when we label this ray A, B, we only have the arrow on one end. So this is labeled ray A, B. Ray A, B. All right, our next, uh, our next figure that we want to take a quick look at is something that is really within the realm of what we deal with practically on a regular basis, and that would just be a piece of a line or a section of a line, and this is called a line segment. Okay, so it's a, it's a definite start point, definite end point. Um, Definite start and end points. Okay, definite start and end points. We can we can certainly label that line segment just the way we've labeled the others. A B. We can we can actually label it with any set of letters we want. We can call it X Y or S T or Q R 
uh, we're just choosing A, B here. Now when we, when we label that, do this, A, B. Now notice here, we have no arrow on either end, so that tells me we're talking about line segment, line segment A, B. All right. Now, from there, I think what I want to go to next, very quickly, as we look at the basics of geometry, the thing I want to look at next uh, is, is where we might have a ray, okay, with a start point. And then another ray, like so, coming off that same start point. Now, this is what's known as an angle. This is what's known as an angle. Well, an angle, again, is two rays with the same start point. Let's just put that maybe right here. Two rays with the same starting point. They share a common starting point. That common starting point, by the way, is called the vertex. That's the vertex of our angle. Now we can label angles several different ways. Um, the most common and most specific and best way is, is to label angles uh, most of the way we do with lines is by points on the angle. So let's call this X, Y, Z. X, Y, Z. Now what we always want to do when we label the angle is, is that we, we could call this, um, for example, angle X, Y, Z. Or we might call it angle Z, Y, X. The key is that the vertex, the vertex point is in the middle. Now, it might even be, in some cases, labeled simply angle Y, angle Y, labeled by the vertex. That's a little confusing, though, because we could have several angles coming off the same vertex, and, and that wouldn't be good. So, typically, we're going to label it angle X, Y, Z, or Z, Y, X. Uh, another way to label it is just by labeling the space right in here. But I, I again, our best way is just X, Y, Z, or Z, Y, X vertex in the middle. Okay, so we, we have uh, this way of labeling angles. Now we're gonna talk a lot about angles actually as we, as we move on through this chapter and talking about some of the basic geometry. And so, and so my, my next topic I suppose is I want, to, uh, I want to talk a little bit about angular measure, angular measure. All right, so let's take a look at how we might measure some typical angles. Um, I, I want to do this, you guys. Okay, so we've got this angle listed here. We we'll call it angle uh, P, Q, R. So we can label it angle P. P, Q, R. Of course, we could label it angle RQP. That would be fine as well. Now, when I talk about measuring an angle or angular measures, what I'm really talking about is measuring the space, this opening for the angle right here. All right? This measure, this opening for the angle right here. Now, I want you to notice on this angle, we have a line. We have another line coming straight down into it. This, this is known as perpendicular where one line comes straight down into the other line, okay? Um, we would put this symbol here, and the measure of that is measured in degrees. And the measure of that angle would be a 90 degree opening. That's also called a right angle. So we have a right angle that measures out at a 90 degree opening, okay? Now, that's going to kind of form the basis of what we look at in terms of angular measures now. So remember, this, this squared off uh, opening right here, 90 degree angle. Now, from there, I want to look at what would happen if we were to look at a line, but not look at it so much as a line, but look at it 
maybe as two angles. Okay, so we've got a right angle here and a right angle here. And so this measures 90 degrees, right? And then if you come on over here, this measures 90 degrees. So the whole angle measures 180 degrees. Okay, so a line could also be seen as an angle. Okay, so here, here's our vertex for the, for the angle. All right, let's call this one, um, let's go back to X, Y, Z. So this is angle X, Y, Z. 180 degrees, 180 degrees total. 90 on this side, 90 on this side. Uh, also known as a straight. So measurements of angles, a straight angle. Okay, 90 degrees on each side. Two right angles connected at the same vertex. A straight angle. Now we have some measurements also that are kind of in between those two that we want to at least mention to you very quickly as we look at classifications of angles. We've got two classifications so far, right angles and straight angles. Another classification would be an acute angle. An acute angle is less than 90 degrees. A couple of examples of acute angles, if you had an angle that was like this. Notice that the opening right here is not all the way out to a 90 degree. If I was going to guess, I would, I would guess that's about a 70 degree opening right there. If this right here straight up and down is 90, it's coming in, closing in a little bit at about 70 degrees, okay? Um, another acute angle, we might close up that angle very tightly, okay? And have just a little narrow opening. If I was going to guess, I would call that probably, I don't know, that might be about a 20 degree opening, about a 20 degree opening. So if the angle is 90 degrees on the button, it's a right angle. If it's less than 90 degrees in its opening, either close down very tight or open almost to 90, but not too 90, it's an acute angle. All right. And another classification is an obtuse angle. Obtuse angle is uh, more than 90 degrees. Whoa. Lost my light here. Let me walk around. Okay. Light back off. Good. An obtuse angle is more than 90 degrees, okay, but less than 180 degrees. So, a couple of quick examples of obtuse. We, we might have an obtuse angle that looks like this. It opens beyond the 90, wide opening, but less than 180. Or it might open way wide, but not all the way straightened out. Okay? Uh, I guess that one's about 130. I guess this one's about 165. Those are just guesses. Okay? So we look at some basic angles and angle classifications. All right. Well, that's all I want to do in this section right now. We'll pick it back up in the next section or the next video. Uh, jump into um, 8.1 and work on some of that homework. I'll see you on the flip side. Thanks, guys.